But once you kind of realize that you control your fate in this world and you are you got a certain freedom comes over you you stop living for others approval you stop living for others validation no people's opinions might still matter to you but at the end of the day you start to look at yourself as your own boss in your life at the end of the day people lose that power to to talk down on you or to make you feel less of who you are because you realize bro you're around yourself 24 7. there's nothing someone can tell you about yourself that you shouldn't already know you should learn every part of yourself to the point where you're criticizing yourself you are your biggest judge not in a way where you're trying to beat yourself down but in a way where you're giving yourself constructive criticism if i'm sitting in the bed and i'm like yo what the f am i doing the dojo is waiting for me. I need to upload. I need to get up. I need to grind. My family needs me. That them kind of them kind of conversations, you're gonna have to get used to doing it for yourself. Cause when you're trying to embark on a journey and you're trying to be somebody in life, if you wanna become one of the top one percent of people, you need to be different from the other ninety nine percent. You have to accept that reality. You have to embody it. You have to love it. You have to be obsessed with it. And one thing I want to talk about is how the law of detachment will be important in you becoming your best self and you chasing your true dreams. The law of detachment is like, you know, they say a law of attraction, law of manifesta manifestation, all these things, all these terms. I'm going to make them as simple as possible. Starting with the law of detachment because this is the most important right now. You have to be able to, to understand that, yes, you want this goal in life. Yes, you want this thing. Let's say me, for example. I wanted to make it in content creation, right? Now, obviously, I'm starting to grow now, and I'm doing that now, thanks, you know, to TikTok going viral and, you know, me uploading daily. But what I needed to realize is, at first, I was playing the game a lot. I thought I was going to make it in gaming. Like, I was, like, going to be um, some big gaming content creator. And I used to be so obsessed with that, trying to figure out what to do for that, what to upload for this, how to do that. And it was like... I was investing all this time and seeing no results. The moment I detached myself from the aspect of gaming but kept the goal in mind is when I automatically saw a breakthrough. So the law of detachment is ultimately you, you opening up your creativity. You saying, yes, I want to achieve this goal, but you not being so, so tunnel visioned on the one way to achieve that goal. You need to be open-minded. How many other ways can I get to where I want in life? What else could I be doing? What am I not doing? What am I doing that's not working? What can I be doing? Et cetera. Like, you need to be like pumping and dumping all these new ideas and all these innovative ways to achieve what you want in life. Constantly growing, constantly thinking about how you can change to become that better version of yourself. And then when we get into stuff like the law of manifestation, a lot of that stuff is important because your thoughts lead to feelings and feelings lead to actions and actions lead to results. So if I tell you to manifest your future self and manifest your dream, that's not some gimmicky shit where you write something in a notebook and you just pops out of the air. It's really going to be like you need to be able to see yourself as what you're trying to achieve. Otherwise, you'll never push yourself to do it. Why would I be, try to become a millionaire if, if I saw it as an unlikely thing to happen? So the law of manifestation, that's really just about believing in yourself to even try believing in yourself to even to even make the plans it's not about you know writing something down and envisioning something in your head and it should just pop up out of the sky you still got to put the work in you still got to grind but a big part of that is like if you can't respect your own potential if you can't see your own value and your own worth you will never push yourself to do these things you'll just think i'm not sure I'm worthless, I'll never be anything in life, and you'll be stuck in that low vibration, you'll be stuck in that low mindset. A lot of my content might talk about girls and women and stuff like that, but that's like 1% of my power level, my guy. It's so much more to me that I would love to share with the world, I would love to connect with the world, my community. I need to find places like this, where you could ultimately be yourself. Not be yourself, but like, Take away everything that, that could distract you and just exist. I love coming out here. Look, my book bag is on the floor. My phone is in my pocket. I haven't checked it in probably like 20 minutes.
but I just can I could just breathe out here, bro. I could yell in my fucking went to. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not that I'm afraid to be myself, it's just like when you like to be alone, places like this you love. Like the movies, I love the movies, bro. I swear to god I love the movies. I go by myself, no boys just to just to exist, just to zone in and just take a moment to experience life. Cause a lot of people can't come in the woods like this and just, just sit there and not think about anything. But a lot of people can't just come into the woods and just exist, just not look at their phone, not think about anything, just to be with themselves. Just to sit in your own mind, bro. A lot of y'all are afraid of yourselves. Learn to be your best friend. Learn to love being by yourself, bro. Learn to just know where you could come out here, bro, and just you at your best. You just think all your thoughts are just positive, motivational, and encouraging. If you still at the point where you can't be by yourself without destroying yourself, you got a long way to go, but you know what? Have no fear. Taekwondo is here.